how well does this China Glaze Gel Nail Polish work? Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for new videos every week. Today I'm sharing a review of the China Glaze Gelaze Gel Nail Polish. For those of you who have been around for a while, you guys know that I am a huge nail polish fan. I absolutely love all things nails. I love my nails looking nice. I'm also a pretty big gel nail polish fan because I love that it stays on my nails for a long time and it makes them look really nice. Anytime I go on a trip and I wanna make sure that my nails look good and stay nice, I always do gel nail polish. Sometimes I get it done at the salon and sometimes I get it done at home. I've had this Gelaze system for about five years now and I have used it over and over and over again. So today I'm gonna to share the pros and the cons of this polish as well as my overall opinion of it. All of the products that I mentioned will be linked down below in the description. So click down below if you see something that you wanna grab for yourself. To start off, let's talk about the price. The individual Gelaze nail polish bottles will run you about $12. I have seen two different sizes of these nail polishes. This red one that I have here is 0.33 ounces and this pink one is 0.5 ounces. I've seen them both, um, so just be aware that they come in two different sizes. Everything that I've seen recently has been the larger half ounce bottles, so these are full size nail polish bottles. The ones that I have that are 0.33 ounces seem to be the older ones that I got a long time ago. So at $12 a bottle, it's a little bit more expensive than a a regular bottle of nail polish. A bottle of China Glaze nail polish is probably gonna cost you around $9, and that's the average for just about any salon nail polish. China Glaze also sells a necessities kit, and that's what I first started with five years ago when I bought everything. The necessities kit is pretty much a starter kit. It gives you just about everything that you need except for the light in order to get started with doing gel polish because there are very specific things that you have to do and steps that you need to take in order to make it a gel manicure. The necessities kit that they sell is about $28 and in it you get lots of different things. You get one polish. The color that comes in the necessities kit is this one which is ruby pumps. It's the same polish that I have on my nails right now. In the kit that they are selling now, they do actually give you the half ounce version, so it is a little bit bigger. The one that I bought five years ago had the 0.33 ounce versions. They also give you a top coat, and the other stuff included in the kit is an orange wood stick for pushing back your cuticles, a file and a buffer, cleansing wipes, which you need for the end to clean off your nails. They also give you a cleanser. This is not the one included in the necessities kit. This is just the one that I have right now. They also give you a remover and then some foil wraps in order to remove the gel nail polish when you're done with it. So considering that two polishes, a color and a top coat is going to cost you $24, the $28 for the necessities kit is a really great deal. If you are considering starting with gel polish, I highly recommend that you start out with the necessities kit. Like I said, that's the way I started five years ago. Even this small 0.33 ounce bottle that I got with the original necessities kit I still haven't run out of. So the first pro is that this gel polish has a gel and base in one. So all of the polishes that you buy, if you look at the front, they say gel and base in one, meaning that you don't need a base coat. Most gel polishes that you're going to use are going to have a base coat first, then you put the color on and then the top coat. So that's a huge pro for this polish line. It's actually one of the biggest reasons that I decided to try it all those years ago is that I didn't have to go out and buy a base coat. So one, that saves you money. And two, it saves a little bit of extra time because you don't have to apply a base coat before you start putting on the polish. Another pro for this polish is that you can use it with either LED or UV lights. If you're not familiar with gel polishes, they have to cure with a light in order to set them and turn them into a hard gel polish. So it's really nice that this will cure with either one. So 
just depending on the type that you find and that you get. The light that I have is the red carpet manicure. It is a LED light. So that's what I use with this polish. This is just the light that I have. My mom got it for me as a Christmas gift a long time ago and so it's just the type that I use. The Gel Ace polish will cure under an LED light like this in 30 seconds and then it will cure under a UV light in two minutes. So it will work with either one. But do keep in mind that if you are just starting out, you will also need to purchase a light. Like I said, the necessities kit gives you almost everything that you need in order to get started. The light is the one exception. You will also need to make sure that you have a light in order to do this gel polish. The next pro for this polish is that it's easy to use. It's really easy to apply this polish and paint it onto your nails. So I'm going to really quickly walk you through the whole process in order to use this gel polish. So you want to start with clean nails with no polish on them. Step number one is that you're going to buff your nails. Like I said, in the necessities kit, they give you this small file and buffer. You have to buff your nails in order to kind of rough them up and give the gel polish something to adhere to. Uh, so you can use this little buffer if you have the necessities kit. Like I said, I've had this kit for five years so my buffer was getting a little bit dull so I just went out to the beauty store and bought a new buffer for just a couple of dollars. Next once your nails are buffed you're going to want to remove the dust from your nails so that it doesn't get in your polish. Jaleas recommends that you use the cleansing wipes and cleanser in order to clean off your nails before you start painting them because you want to start with a clean slate. You can do that but honestly what I do to clean off my nails and try to save a little bit of money on the cleanser and the wipes is I just take rubbing alcohol and dip an eyeshadow brush in it and then brush it on my nails to get off all of the dust. The one thing you want to make sure that you don't do in this process is use a cotton ball because you don't want anything with lint on it. You can use lint free cotton balls if you have those. Next you're going to paint your nails. Like I said there's not a base coat so you're going to start with your color and do one coat across your nails. The way that Jaleas recommends that you paint and then cure would be to paint your four fingers, cure it, 30 seconds under an LED light or two minutes under a UV light, and then do your thumb separately so that your polish doesn't get messed up. Then you'll do a second coat of polish, same thing, four nails, cure it, thumb, cure it, and then follow with the top coat in the same way. After that, the last step is to wipe off your nails with the cleanser and the cleanser wipes. This just helps get the stickiness off of your nails that's going to be left over after you're done. You can use the stuff that comes from Jolay's in their necessities kit. Long time ago, I already used up everything that came in my necessities kit. So you can just buy other wipes and cleansers from Amazon or a beauty store once those run out. And you don't have to use the Jolay's brand. You can use any brand of cleanser and wipes. So the process is pretty straightforward and easy in order to put this on your nails. Now a con with this is that you have to make sure that you paint in thin layers. Jaleas recommends that you paint in very thin layers because if you don't, the polish will pool in the corners of your nail and around your cuticle. And this is something that you don't want. Before this polish is set and cured by a UV light, it moves around a lot. Um, so you have to make sure that you get very, very little amount of polish on your brush. The way that I do this is that I wipe off my brush several times on the edge of the bottle before I start painting my nails. And I make sure that the very first layer of polish is super thin. Thin. I found that if you make your first coat thin and your other coats after that a little bit thicker, then it works a little bit better. Because when you start painting this polish on your nails, I've noticed that it will start to kind of like run and then that causes that pooling along the edges of your nails. And after that cures, even though it looks fine right at the very beginning, as you continue to wear it within a couple of days, that will cause it to start peeling and it allows air and water and all sorts of other stuff to to get underneath it and that's gonna allow your nail to peel and I've seen instances where the whole entire layer of polish will peel off and you'll have a completely empty nail so you do have to make sure that you thinly paint on this polish this is just something that's going to come with practice um, I've gotten a lot better at this over the years that I've used this than when I started so for beginners if you are brand new to painting your nails it will be a little bit of an adjustment 
I don't think that this is something that is unique to Gelays. I think that this is a characteristic of all gel polishes. You just have to be really careful. Don't glob on the polish, even though you might want to, to make it look a little bit thicker. Just take your time and be careful. It's better to take your time and have to have more coats than to ruin your whole entire nail. I will say that with this, I have noticed that the neon polishes don't do this quite as much. The regular or glittery polishes are a lot more thin and will pool a lot more. The neon polishes are a little bit thicker, just something about the formula that you don't have to quite worry about it as much. Now that last one brings me to another con, which is sometimes some of the colors require more than just two coats of polish. Like I said, Gelays recommends doing two coats of polish on your nails, but I have found that some of the colors do require more than two coats of polish. This last time that I painted my nails, I was really careful to get thin coats. And so on most of my nails, I did end up doing three coats of polish. Uh, this is just one that can be, when you get it thin, it's really, really thin. And I wanted that red color to really pop. So I had to add a third coat of polish. Another color that I've noticed this with is one of my really light sheer colors. This is Diva Bride. It's a really light pink color. So usually I have to paint about three coats of this one to get it fully opaque. Like I said, the more neon colors, you don't really have to do that. So most of my neon bright summer colors are ones that I only have to do two coats of. Honestly, having to add a third coat to this polish isn't something that really bothers me that much because you don't have to do a base coat. When you're adding a third coat, it's like adding that process of adding a base coat. But since I don't have to add a base coat, that's not really bothering me. Like I said before, I'd rather take more time and do multiple layers of thin coats than just completely mess up my nails. The next pro for the Gel Ace Polish is it has lots and lots of colors. Over the past five years, I've collected so many different colors of these polishes. One of the great things is that if you are a China Glaze user, you have China Glaze nail polishes. If you have a favorite color, chances are you'll probably be able to find that in a Gelays polish. Another fun thing with this and them offering lots of colors is they also have a package called Tips and Toes. And what it is is that they sell a Gelays gel polish along with their regular nail polish in matching colors. That way you can put one on your fingers and one on on your toes and have matching colors. So that's a big thing for me. I love it when my nails and my toes match. So that's super fun. The tips and toes packages are also a really good deal because they are $16 for both of the polishes. Like I said before, a Gelays polish is going to cost you $12 and the regular nail polish is going to cost you $9. So if you want them both, it can definitely save you some money. I have several of the matching sets for this Gelays polish. Polish. This one is one of my favorite summer neon ones called Neon On and On. The next pro for this polish is that it lasts a long time. Like I said earlier, this is the nail polish I have on my nails right now. They're a little bit grown out. I have had this nail polish on for two weeks. I'll probably take it off in the next couple of days, but I have only had just a couple teeny tiny pieces that like flaked off like right by my cuticle and it's kind of worn on the edges of my nails but other than that it is still on here perfectly i have gone three weeks before there is one one of the neon polishes i painted before we went on a vacation one time came home and didn't feel like changing it and so i left that polish on for three weeks and still had to physically remove it from my nails so it does last a really long time another pro with this polish is that it's easy to take off the process is just like other gel nail polishes you have to break the seal with a file soak it in a little bit of acetone and then you can take off the polish i will say with this Gelays polish I have noticed that it is easier to take off in the end than if I go get my nails done in a salon. I'm not sure if that's because there's not a base coat or it's just because they weren't done in a salon. I really don't know, but they do come off a little bit 
easier and with less effort than it takes for me to get salon gel polish off. Overall, I absolutely love the Gelays gel polish system. Like I said, I have had it for five years. I've used it over and over again and bought tons and tons of polishes and I absolutely love it. If you're careful when painting your nails, then it will last a really long time. And in the long run, it is way more cost effective than getting your nails done in a salon. If you're looking for more nail polish videos, including reviews, at home manicure tutorials and seasonal colors, click right here for my nail polish playlist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.